G'day fellas and welcome back to the Charleston Tech Dynasty. Somehow we're only rank 20. Uh, we've beaten two top 15 teams, including rank one. And we're not even justified for a top 10 spot, whatever. Today we're gonna be taking on rank nine, zero and one, Penn State. They come in with an A plus overall, A minus defense. It should be, you know, <clears throat> voice crack. Should be pretty standard stuff I'm thinking. Kirk's rocking with us. We're gonna be without Kevin Turner again. Still four weeks to go. They're gonna be without their left guard. Hard though. Now checking out recruiting, we still got a little bit of work to do on Chris Ingraham up here. Six foot eight, he's an athlete. I'm thinking he's gonna turn into an offensive lineman. But just because he is six foot eight, I might see if he can fit in at like the secondary or something. Wouldn't that just be crazy? We do have the lead on Jason Adams though, an 81 overall tight end as well as pretty much everybody else here. I guess it depends if there's gonna be some low lock cheese that we can find here. Five star athlete Terrence Pope, he's six foot five. We got two wide receivers, another, man, there is a whole bunch of four star wide receivers. I would go for the outside linebacker, but we just don't need it anymore. Other than that, I say we should probably look to invest in the trench if we can, if there's anybody here that looks decent. Maybe these two, but it's a long shot. Let's go ahead and remove Sean Palmer here because there's no chance we're going to get him. We're not going to be able to get Micah Foster either, so we can just forget that. We should look to pick up another cornerback. That's obviously something that we need going forward. <laughs> Take that, Notre Dame. I don't really want to start focusing these 70 overalls. I'll give them the points, but uh, I want to look to scout and maybe capitalize on what we just found. Starting from the worst, Andy Long going up to a 77. Justin Bell up to a 71. That's some good trench right there. Brian Davis looks like a fantastic cornerback. That's excellent. Got another tight end right there. Defensive end. He's an 80 overall, my goodness. Now we get into the wide receivers. This is where it gets interesting. Looking for that Matt Moore replacement. Carnell Bell looking like a beast. Keith Griffin also going up to a 93. And then last but not least, rank three in the nation. He's an 80. He's a quarterback slash running back. This guy comes in with 88 trucking, 86 stiff arm. He's also got some decent excel, crappy speed though. This is ideally my dream running back. I think we might have just found our brand new starter. Pretty much going to be offering all of these guys scholarships as well as some points. Imagine getting six receptions for 57 yards and a touchdown and losing the game and still being first on the Heisman list. Couldn't be my dynasty. Anyway, we have a neutral site game today. I'm not sure where we're playing. I always forget. But if you are new around here and you enjoy NCAA content as well as Madden 20 content, then this is the channel for you. Do not forget to subscribe. With that being said, fellas, let's jump into it. Oh, MetLife. We've got a lot of history here. Never mind, I'm an idiot. We're playing in Colorado. We're playing defense. So this is the first time in a long time that I've got big hits on aggressive. Normally, I just rock on conservative, especially in this dynasty, but I'm going for aggressive today. I want those big hits. Come on, first play. That's a big completion to give up. Already got him in an early third down. You love to see it. Looking out for the screenplay, though. No screen. That's also not going to be a first down, though. Get out of here. Oh, I can already tell. It's going to be a long day for Penn State. We are keyed in on that blitz, boy. Go get that. Come on, Ward. Bro. Bro. I mean, I kind of asked for it, but still, that's really frustrating. So not an ideal start, but we're still going to make use of it. Marcus Elliott checking in. Let's run a triple option. Why not? go let's go Bo Davis checking in the backup the freshman their coverage I'm taking off why not right let's go Jeremy up the sideline breaking tackles we can eventually master that though we're just adding another dimension to this offense it's man coverage I love it keep calling man coverage please the freshman Matt West up to the five it's all right we'll adapt and adjust This is the weirdest start to a game ever. We muffed a punt that ended in a touchdown. The center just scored a touchdown. It's so like it could be a read option. No, they're just gonna run it. Lucky Williams is there to wrap him up. That's another TFL. Oh crap, that's bad coverage. He's gonna drop it. 
It's another early third down. This quarterback is still three from four, though, on the day. They always manage to still pull out a good passer rating. He's going to get sacked. He's going to get sacked, boys. Oh, please tell me this is man coverage. Matt West is about to have a field day. Here we go. Oh, step back, cheese! The freshman off the sideline. He's on the five. Come on. He got it. Wow, the luck of the draw. He rolls onto the secondary. What a beastly play by the freshman. I mean, full props to the defense, though. The game took away our best option, which was Kevin Turner. And still, we're beating teams like Rank 1, Notre Dame, etc. It's literally just because of the... <laughs> it's because of the defense. Yeah, you're not going to get away from that. You probably got one second max. Got him in another third down situation. If we can get the stop right here, we're looking fantastic. Come on, Chambers. Make the play, my guy. Let's see what you got. Jenkins on the sack. That's his second of the day already. Best part is we can run out this clock. We get the ball to start the second half. Kind of want to check Bo Davis in just to see what he can do. Javon's great, but once we get that other running back, it's... He's probably going to look to start. <laughs> Come on, Javon. This is going to be more of the same thing. It is. Wow, imagine. Imagine Matt West going for another touchdown. Starting to pick this up as well. Getting the hang of it. There we go. Javon, he's away. 10, 5, end zone. Let's go. I'm loving it. We're getting the run game involved, the pass game. It's all good. Looks like they're wasting the clock. That's embarrassing. Not only have we already won this game, we literally just broke their spirit. They don't even want to play anymore. Look, he's going to take off. He's going to get the first. Wow. Oh, crap. We got burnt. Travis Chambers, mate. Wow. Letting Penn stay back in the game like that, though. Damn you, crowd. We have really poor field position to start off this drive. It just doesn't seem worth it. You know what I mean? More mere coverage, though. I thought he was on a corner route. Oh, what? A... <laughs> That's the most crow play ever. i got to start figuring out what plays I'm running before I just throw the ball like that. Double slant. He's in. They just tied this game up. Hopefully we can get back to our roots in this second half. Got to take it a bit more slower. Got a bit you know, too ahead of ourselves just then. Let's go, Willie Ward. Up the sideline. That's a good start. I'll take it. We also have the scoreboard glitch. When we get to the fourth quarter, it'll return. But for now, uh, we're basically stuck like this. <laughs> we don't even know what down it is. All right, we are looking at a third and super long right now. I assume it's third down. I hope it is. We're going to get Penn State got the pep talk at halftime. Bro, right, this quarterback just keeps taking off. How did he stiff up my best linebacker? They must have figured us out. They're driving on us at will right now. We can't do anything to stop them. There we go, Phillip Briggs on the sack. Maybe a screenplay. Wouldn't put it past him. It's a run. In the backfield, no way. Briggs is there again. I keep forgetting, but next episode, we have to go check out who's leading the NCAA in sacks and TFLs. Because we got to be ahead in a landslide. Oh, would you look at that? The scoreboard's back. All it took was Penn State kicking a field goal. Crap, that's a bad juke. They keep falling for the running back. That's kind of what I want. Elliot can just do whatever he wants out there. Are they going to press if I change this up? No, they're not. Interesting choice. Here we go, Kaplan. That's another big play for the freshman tight end. Are they going to come out in press coverage again? They are. They figured us out. If you haven't figured it out, calling press pretty much eliminates our receivers. There we go, Rivera. That's fourth in inches. We're going for it. There's no way I'm settling for that. Kind of would prefer Marcus Elliott to be doing this, but I'm sure Jeremy Richards can handle it. The milkshake special. Been passed down through the years. And there goes an easy first down. Got him. 
Let's go, David Ross in the end zone. Now both of our freshman receivers got a TD. Now I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous right now. I don't know if the blitz calling is the play. It might be, let's go, TFL to Janko. We've already got 280 yards. I feel like we haven't even been out there. Jenkins is going on a spy. We have to put him out there. Wow, how did he get so wide open? He just burnt a safety that has 99 man coverage. All right, I'm doing it. I'm going for the zone coverage. Watch those out routes. He's gonna get sacked, he ran into it. They're one from five on third down conversions. This is it, we just get this play right here, easy money. We run the clock out. They go on short, oh no. No, 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 fourth and four. And lo and behold, Penn State is going for it. I feel like we got to send a blitz. Let's stay true to what we do. There it goes, Jenkins again, straight into the gut. And that's crazy. I'm coming off recording the Dreadnoughts franchise. And in that game, Darius Leonard had four sacks. And now in this game, Jenkins pretty much just replicated it right there. I mean, Javon has a seven average right now. What an absolute beast. Marcus Elliott has played a huge part in this game as well. There we go. Looks like he's going to get another touchdown to add to the stat sheet. Oh, crap. We've lost him for good. Go ahead and send the blitz. Hopefully, we don't get burnt. Going to drop Travis down a little bit. Ah, they got it. Oh, Freeman, Freeman. <laughs> I guess we do need new safeties. Both of them missed the tackle. Like, imagine. It's not the time nor the place. Just recover the ball. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. We're going to come away with another dub. Let's throw it up. Let's go to the end zone. I got to test out Matt West. The six foot four freshman. We get it off. Is that going to be a touchdown? It is. Two on the day. Wow. I threw that up blindly and it paid off. What a game. And again, we're just proving how we are a top cat. Like we are a national championship worthy team. Matt West wins player of the game. What an awesome episode, man. I love that episode. So again, we come away with a win against a top 10 team. Jeremy Richards only threw 12 passes, but completed 75%, three touchdowns, one pick. On the Russian end, nothing too crazy, but everybody contributing. Bo Davis even getting involved today. On the receiving end, man, Matt West, the player of the game. 141 yards, two touchdowns. David Ross only caught one pass, but he also caught a touchdown. On the defensive end, Brian Jenkins, eight solo tackles, four TFLs and three sacks. We had five on the day. We're going to see where we stack up next episode. Again, though, it is our defense literally carrying us right now. We have created something that not a lot of teams can replicate. With that being said, fellas, that is going to wrap up another episode. This is by far the most fun I've ever had with this series. Hopefully, you guys are digging it as well, man. If you did make it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. From me personally, I'm out. Peace.